Hello everyone. Uh, I just received my doggy fountain from doggyfountain.com and they have some really great instructions online in the PDF but for those people that are a little bit more visual I thought that I would do this just to show you how easy it is. Here are all the parts that come with the kit. You have your valve and you have your springs and your screws and your nylock nuts and your washer along with the base plates and the cover for the valve itself. Now the tools that you'll need to perform this in, uh, assembly is a number two Phillips screwdriver and a, I uh, believe it is a 10 millimeter socket or if you don't have metric a 3 8 will work just as well so what we're going to do first is we're going to take the valve here and we're going to set it on top of these two holes right here and then we're going to take two of these short screws and we're going to put them in each one of the holes with the screw head underneath so the threaded part is sticking out from that area and then we will fasten it with these nylock nuts that come with the kit and that's what it looks like assembled now also if, if you don't have a socket uh, you can also you know in a pinch use a pair of pliers to hold the nut and just screw it in um, you don't have to over tighten them or anything like that because the nylon in the nylock nut will actually keep it from backing off so, you know, like I said, if you don't have a socket, that's fine. You can always use just a uh, pair of small pliers or something along those lines just to hold the nut while you screw the screw in from the back side there. Now, the next step that we're going to do is we're going to install the paddle onto the valve itself. And we're also going to affix these two screws on to those two points and these two points as well just by simply slipping the looped end over each side. Now, how you're going to affix this is if you look right here, you will see that there is a hole right there and that is where the long screw and nut are going to go to affix the paddle onto the valve and it'll look something like that now we're going to tighten down the, the long screw and the nylock nut onto the paddle so it will be affixed to the valve one of the things that I try to do is I try to center this piece up so it will be aligned with the other tabs that way you've got an even sided uh, pressure with the spring. So now that we've got the nut and the screw inside there connecting our base plate or our paddle to the um, base plate and valve, we're now going to take the spring and we're going to affix it on to each end of this and then you're going to loop it around here at the bottom that way there will be tension applied to the paddle at that point in time so it can return after being stepped on now the easy way to install these springs is to lift up on this so it gets it closer to the uh, spring retainers here that way there's not a lot of tension on it so they just easily slip on and now as you can see there's the tension and when you press down on it it actuates the valve so now what we're going to do is we're going to install the cover and then we're going to affix the brass nut or the little nozzle along with this stainless steel washer that came with it now also along with the kit comes these stickers that the inventor Mr. Anthony Little um, sent along with it and you can affix these if you would like to both sides of the cover and the um, 
paddle itself if you would like. And it'd probably be easier to do that before you do the install. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to take the cover here and we're going to install it over the top of the uh, assembly itself, the base plate and things of that nature. And you notice there's the hole right there that goes there and then there's plenty of room there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the washer and we're going to install it and then we're going to screw down the brass nut or nozzle uh, to complete the assembly. So now we have the stainless steel washer in place and now we're going to install the brass nut or nozzle. And it has the threaded end right there and you're just going to simply screw it in and tighten it down a little bit and there we have it one doggy fountain ready for operation and I would also like to add that Mr. Anthony Little the inventor of this device did no way or any shape or form pay me to uh, to do this I just thought it would be a, an easier video for people to watch than to sometimes read instructions on a PDF because not all of us are mechanically minded thanks have a great day